Hey YouTube, it's Randy Orton Fan 2011 and I'm back here once again for round 3 in the NSCRA Staples Make the Great Challenge. So we have reached my home track of Auto Club Speedway and we're here for the third of eight regular exam races. Remember guys, round 5 at, round five is the midterm exam and a lot more points are on the line, but of course this race is probably just as important as the other races, but of course the midterm exam will probably be a, little, a lot more important as we uh, get through the rest of the season, but now we're here in uh, round three, so we're still in regular season, regular exam mode. And of course, all 32 drivers looking to come away with a big win here in Auto Club Speedway. We'll see if the hometown hero Aaron Williams can come away with a win here for his home for his home fans and his homecoming. Trent Dunham and Charles Jackson will make up the first row, and Jacob Lawler, and of course, our hometown hero Aaron Williams will make up row two and take a look at the rest of the starting lineup because, I, again, I just don't feel like doing a starting grid for this series because, I mean, it's a lot of, it takes a lot it takes away a lot of time on my hands and I really need all that time to uh, do my shit. Alright, so we'll be here for 15 laps. Let's get the engines fired up and we are ready to go racing. Cars have already rolled off of the, off the starting positions and we are ready to go racing here at Auto Club for 15 laps. Remember, this is a wide track, so we'll see if anyone will make any moves around here. Remember, you want to be on the inside line. It's about being on the inside advantage if you want to win in this place. There's the green flag. Here we go. Here we go. We are set for 15 laps here at Fontana. And, uh, oh boy. Oh, man. Jacob Lawler. Jacob Lawler, who, was, who started in third position, did not get a very good start. Jacob Lawler, Jacob Lawler stalled at the start of the race, and now he's all the way back to dead last. Something may be wrong with that car. Something may be wrong with that Bills car like they have been this season. Now we got a four-car battle here. Four-car battle between, for the lead. It's uh, Trent Dunham, Charles Jackson. Now you got Tony Blazer and Aaron Williams in the mix. And they're side-by-side. They're side. Tony Blazer, Trent Dunham for the lead. It'll be Trent Dunham who leads lap one. Oh, we got a couple of cars in the garage. Oh, Kyle Sosnowski, Jacob Lawler, they're going to the garage. Oh, man, that's a tough break for those guys. Kyle Sosnowski's going to lose a hell of a lot of positions, and he's going to hope for a, a yellow flag to come out, as well as Jacob Lawler. They're gonna, they are gonna lost a hell of a lot of positions there. Now the three wide for the lead, Charles Sandford with the inside advantage. And there's a the hometown boy, Aaron Williams. He may be, uh, he may be looking, he may be sporting the Giants' colors, but... There's no, unfortunately, there's no professional football team. There's no NFL team in L.A. So, so I mean, and he's not a big fan of the Chargers either. Well, here we go, and this could be this could be a deciding factor now. Kyle Szczesny's on that in Kyle Szczesny all the way on the pit road. We'll see if he's gonna if he's gonna come out with the rest of these with the rest of this group here. I'm gonna try and get back with the rest of the group. He is he has fallen a lap down now. Kosznowski has fallen a lap down, so that is going to be a tough break for Kosznowski. He's going to get a D minus for this race, unless they get a call, unless they can find a yellow flag here. And now I see it's Aaron Williams, Charles Sanford, one two side by side, looking for side by side for the lead. Now here comes Ryan Acosta and Matthew McMurray. Those guys started back. Start, those guys started towards the back of the pack. So now we got so now we got a couple of guys who could pull off a major upset here. Not not just Charles Sanford, but maybe Ryan Acosta or even Matthew McMurray or Joseph Clark. So you got an AFC team, an NFC team, an AFC team, and an NFC team. One, two, three, four, in that order. So we've completed four laps so far, and it's still Charles Sanford the leader. We still haven't seen a yellow flag come out. They're pretty much they're not pretty much bunched up here. They're pretty much all, all settled out to say the least. Everyone's pretty much settled down at this point in the race. But of course, one mistake by one driver could mean the end for a bunch of others. Aaron Williams and Charles Sandifer still uh still one two at this point, but now Matthew McMurray is taking over third. Ryan Acosta is now fourth. Joseph Clark is now fifth. Liam Mervick's moved his way up to sixth, and now you got four wide battle here for seventh position. You had a four wide battle there. It's Ryan Juke who has the advantage. Uh oh, look out. Five wide. Five wide. Holy shit. This is going to get interesting. 
somehow they're able to stay cool and settle down, but man, that was close right there. That was a really close call. And now with the and with the lap down car of Kalsas Noski, that might also play a factor in this one too. Aaron Williams has taken away the lead from Charles Sanford, and Aaron Williams will lead a, a lap here at Auto Club Speedway, and the crowd here is jacked. They are cheering for their hometown boy, but we're only half, we're only just a little less than halfway through this race. Remember, anything can ha anything can have everything will happen. We still haven't seen a yellow flag come out, which is very surprising. So, but something tells me that they might end up encountering Jacob Lawler as they go. They might end up encountering Jacob Lawler here. I'm not quite sure though. We're just about reaching the halfway point of this race, and it's Aaron Williams still the leader. The crowd's still cheering. And now Charles Sanford looking for the second position at the expense of Matthew McMurray. Joseph Clark is now fourth, and you see Ryan Acosta has fallen to fifth. Liam Irving is now sixth. Ralph Mason, the Englishman, trying to defend seventh from the defending Pepsi Cup Series champion and the Daytona winner of this series, Dylan Poteet. And it's Austin LaPlante, I think, in ninth position, and Charles Jackson rounding out the top ten as we come as we have finished up the halfway point of this race. So Aaron Williams still the leader, but look at Charles Sanford all on the back bumper of that Giants machine. Charles Sanford looking to make a move on the inside. Can he do it off turn two here? They made it side by side. Now can Charles Sanford make the move? But here comes Matthew McMurray. I think he's trying to make a move here as he goes to the inside of Sanford. Three wide for the lead here, and we see that inside line really starting to come into play now. It's Matthew McMurray who will lead this lap as we come around with six to go now. Matthew McMurray's taken over the lead. Aaron Williams has fallen all the way to the high side. That's the last place he wants to be at a track at his home track. Now it's Joseph Clark, Ryan Acosta up to fourth, second, and third. And now you got Liam Mervig looking to take away fourth from Charles Sanford. And there are the rivals. Well, I wouldn't say rivals, but friendly rivals, I would say. There's Aaron Williams, Dylan Pote, those Giants Eagles, uh, Giants Eagles rivalry right there. Uh, of course, there's a lot of history between those two teams. Five laps to go now. Matthew McMurray has uh, pretty much taken over the rest, taken over this race. Now it's, super, now it's single file between the top four at this point, but we'll see if any extra action happens towards this rest of the pack. We still have not, we still have not seen a yellow flag. So we have gone pretty much green flag throughout this race. We have gone green flag throughout this race, which is a very surprise. Come around with four to go. This, the top four are still single file. I don't know why they're not passing each I don't know why they're not making much passes around each other. Well, maybe not. Here comes Liam Irvig to the inside of Ryan Acosta for the third position. Now Joseph Clark wants in the action. He wants the lead as well. You see they're bunched up close together trying to get the draft off of each other, but they're not getting too much of a draft. Acosta has fallen back to fourth as per Liam Irvig, and now Dylan Pote wants the fourth position. Aaron Williams trying to get himself back in the top five here. Trying to get himself back in the top five pitcher. Come around with three laps to go now. Liam Irvig not wasting any time, looking to go to the inside of Joseph Clark for the second position. Clark all the way to the outside, and it will be Liam Irvig to take over second position. Liam Irvig trying to take over second position. Joseph Clark got a nice run on the outside, but now, now it's going to be, now it's going to make, now Dylan Pote going to make a, a three-way battle here. Liam Irvig lost a lot of momentum, and it's Dylan Pote will take over, try to take over the third position away from Liam Irvig. Matthew McMurray has still been the leader. Joseph Clark is still in second. We'll come around with two to go now. Two laps to go now. It's still 1-2 at this point, but now Liam Irvig, he's not giving up just yet. Liam Irvig still trying to defend that third position. Dylan Pote is now fourth. Ryan Acosta trying to defend fifth from both Aaron Williams and Charles Jackson and Tony Blazer. 
Well, you got a hell of a lot of cars there trying to go for that fifth position. Now Aaron Williams all the way on the high side. That is that is not a good move right there by Aaron Williams. He might get passed by Brock McMahon as we come around take the white flag. White flag is out one lap to go. Can Matthew McMurray hold off Joseph Clark for the win? Or will Joseph Clark or maybe one of these other drivers come away with some move Come away with some special move that they got in their up their sleeve. Boy, a yellow flag free race to say the least, but Matthew McMurray strong on turns three and four. As they come off turn four, it will be Matthew McMurray who came who comes home with the checkered flag. He takes home the win here at Auto Club. Joseph Clark will end up with in second position. Liam Irvig third. Dylan Pote in fourth, and Ryan Acosta rounds at the top five. Tony Blazer will finish in sixth. Brock Mc, uh, Charles Jackson will end up in the seventh position. Brock McMahon came out of nowhere to finish in the eighth position. Aaron Williams will have to sell for ninth. And how about Jack Rasmussen? We, had, we never really talked much about Jack Rasmussen, and he comes away with a top ten finish. I think that's a B minus in the uh, rule book, but I'm pretty – yes, uh, I think so. I think that is a B minus in the rule book. So a good first race by Jack Rasmussen. And it is Matthew McMurray who comes away with the win here at Auto Club. And now we get to you to your official race results. Here's a look at your official race results. Congratulations to Matthew McMurray. He wins here at Auto Club, and he gets another. He gets an A+. Plus. That will certainly help his average grade so far in this season. Joseph Clark, Liam Irvig are getting A, a and A-, minus respectively. Dylan Poteet, Ryan Acosta, B+. Plus. Uh, Tony Blazer, Charles Jackson, A, B. Brock McMahon, Aaron Williams, and Jack Rasmussen get a B-. minus. 11th through 20th now, Charles Sanford, Ralph Mason, Stephen Whitman, they get a C+. Plus. Jake Smith, Rhett Yates, Seth Cole, a C. Beth B., Dylan Young, Isaac Smith, and Peachy London get a C-. Minus. Go through the bottom half, the bottom portion of this field, the bottom 12. Barney Ward, Preston Plord, Ben Paul, Ryan Juke, they get a D+. Plus. Dakota Erickson, Luke Martin, Trent Dunham, Danny Wells, they get a D. And Austin Plant, James McLeod, Kyle Sosnowski, and Jacob Lawler get a D-. Minus. So... The good news is we didn't have to give away any uh, Fs here, so so we don't have so no Fs in this race, which is a good thing. So nobody has DNF, so nobody gets an F, but still a good, still a big race here, and it sure it sure helped to uh, well, it sure helped being on the inside line. But Matthew McMurray definitely held off a huge amount, a huge uh, run down by Joseph Clark there. But um, so a great race here at Auto Club is Matthew McMurray who comes away with the win. And he gets A plus, and for many of these guys, that'll certainly help out their average grade. I think Joseph Clark might be the new overall points leader, as I think he's had a B average so far, and now with an A in this race, that will definitely, I think, raise it to a, at least a B plus, as that as so far as I know. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Um, that's it from Auto Club. Um, I think we have we will have another race here. We'll have another race here at um, Auto Club for the NSCRA Mountain Dew Whiteout Brothers Host Series. So make sure you stay tuned for that. This is uh, Randy Orton Fan 2011 signing off. I'm out.